I've got a really cool JSON sample to show you for a new SharePoint feature. It could already be on your tenant as we speak. Let's jump into this thing, see how this, uh, this new, new list template works, see how the JSON makes it look even better and break down how it all works in the JSON itself. Let's get into it. So first we need to set up this brand new list. I'm here on my HR site. I'm gonna click on the new button go to list and we are looking for the content scheduler uh, template. We'll see it right here. There's a few new ones here. Uh, the travel request is new. Some of these things are all new and some of these are using approvals. That's what we're gonna be doing in this one. I'm gonna click on the content scheduler. We're taken to the screen where you could see uh, information about it, see that it's going to conclude a flow. This is going to provision up our automate flow along with the list template. This is part of brand new functionality in SharePoint. It's so amazing that we finally have the ability to bundle flows and list templates together. It's really powerful stuff. So what we're going to be doing is just clicking on new template or I'll use template. I'll give it a name, content scheduler. That is pretty good. And now uh, there's some post setup stuff we, we need to do. Uh, in this case, it's going to be provisioning that uh, Power Automate flow. You see the symbol for Power Automate right there. So I'll click on next. And now it's going to be provisioning out that flow. For now, we're just going to close this. And I need to put some content in here. So otherwise, we, there's nothing to show even when we do get that JSON in there. So uh, just give me one, a few seconds and I'm going to get this content uh, populated in here. Okay, so I've got some content in here. What we need to do now is uh, get the approvals started for these things because we're gonna be applying JSON to the approval status field. And the first thing we need to do is go to automate and you'll see configure approvals. So here we will enable the approvals that will add in our approval status field, which I will drag over here. One thing I wanna point out with this new list template, We've got views. We have multiple views that are visible at the same time. In fact, this whole bar looks brand new. This isn't something that we've really seen before in SharePoint Online. It is, however, very reminiscent to something we used to have in SharePoint, uh, the, the classic on-prem days. So it does, it, it's kind of a nice throwback, but it's gonna be very helpful for us because we'll be able to see the content grouped. We'll be able to go to publishing content and we won't have to hit that drop down constantly to switch the view. So this is really cool with the, that we're not just provisioning a, a new list with a flow. It's a different interface here. So I've got the approvals turned on. Now what we're gonna do is click on this. I'll sign it to myself because I need to be able to approve these or reject. I actually gonna do, do some of everything on these things. In practice, you'd be assigning this to uh, someone appropriate for, to, to approve this stuff, of course. And then I'll leave this last one not submitted just so we could see a difference in all the different statuses. Now, when you click on these uh, after they've been submitted, uh, you'll see approval details here. Here's how you can see what's going on with this particular approval. You'll see a nice interface showing the process, the, 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 the progress through the approval period. Uh, I can see this because, and I can edit this because I'm the approver in here. So I'll approve this one. I will reject this one and that'll give us all four statuses here for our approvals. So we've got, you know, right out of the box, there is color coding with this, but this JSON can make it just a tiny bit better. I kind of like how the other, how this new style looks uh, that we're going to be applying. So let's jump over to this JSON sample and start taking a look. Oh, by the way, if you haven't uh, really used JSON formatting a lot, you're trying to learn this. I've got an online course that will walk you through the entire 
thing, uh, all the way from what JSON even is to how it's used in SharePoint, how to start a, uh, creating all this stuff from scratch using the style that you're, you know me for, which is making things easy to understand and going slowly through everything so that you don't get lost. If you want to see more information about that, I've got a link down below in the description to take you straight there and give you all the information you need about this course. But back to this JSON. So this, this solution was recently updated um, by the author, Tetsuya uh, Kawahara, who is the, uh, he, he's not only the MVP, he's a friend of mine. I, I, I've met him in person, wonderful guy. And he makes a ton of these JSON samples. In fact, he's one of the maintainers of this particular repo in the Microsoft 365 and Power Platform community. So uh, really awesome guy. And if you're checking in your own JSON samples, there's a good chance this guy is the one who's merging everything into the main branch. So what this thing is gonna do is it's going to give you a much better looking approval status. Here's the one we're gonna be using on the right hand side. So you're going to have uh, an icon in to, to show the status of this thing, you know, a bit more detail. You'll still be able to go to the approval details as well. Uh, there'll be a link straight on, um, on here. So you don't have to hit to uh, select the item and then go up to the command bar with a single click. You could find out that information. So what we're going to be doing for this one, and you can see a lot more information here about this one, but what we're going to be doing is uh, it, it walks you through how to set everything else up on here as well. But what we're gonna do is click on the approval status icon color with approvals JSON. This is what we're gonna be using on our solution. So we can see all of this. I'm gonna walk you through how what, what's actually happening in this JSON. It's one of the things I always like to do in these types of videos is walk through everything. For now, let's just apply this thing and see how it looks. So I'm gonna copy this and we'll go to the header. We'll go to column settings and format this column. Now there's already custom formatting as you see in here. So it, it, there is a whole bunch of stuff already here. We're going to highlight this all with uh, control A or however you normally do a select all. Hit delete, paste in our custom JSON and then we can hit preview to see how it looks. I like how that looks. Let's hit save and close this and we'll take a look. So these are much brighter colors. We've got the icons here. We've got our approval details. It's, it's a really nice looking interface that we've got here. I can click on this link and I can uh, request approval here or I can click on one that's already in progress and we see all the details that we saw before. So it's got the same built-in functionality, but with one less click, which I mean, hey, I'll take one less click any day. So this is a really nice solution. You see there's, there's uh, borders here, if it's like not submitted, but then the ones that are in progress are all, they all have color, they all pop, they, they stand, stand out on that page so that you, you, you see them, you, your eyes are drawn to those things. So, this is a really cool solution, but how does it work? How does this, this stuff even work? Let's jump over to the JSON and let's start going through this because it's extremely simple. And if you like this kind of video, uh, click that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you get all these JSON videos and all my other SharePoint and Copilot type videos all coming to you. So we've got our normal standard schema. It's a column formatting schema. So we know we are applying a column formatter. We're creating a div to house everything that we're gonna do. Everything we're, that we're gonna do at this point will go inside of this div. So it's all kind of creating containers that we'll eventually start putting text into. Now in this div, we're gonna be using a flex layout. Now that's just a, a CSS style layout to make sure things flow right and they wrap around all that kind of stuff that we're used to seeing in responsive web pages. We'll create one div inside there. And then we're, here's where we're setting that border. So you saw where on our not submitted, we have this black border with a, a curve with rounded corners. And that's really where this is coming from. It's look, it's using an expression to see if the current field, which is the approval status, which is a number, 
If that is set to a zero, which is not submitted, then it's going to be using a solid background. Otherwise, it's not going to do any sort of border at all. So that's why we see a not submitted with a border. But then for approved, well, we don't have that black border here. Uh, because it's just going to be whatever that colored border is. And next, we're going to be seeing uh, the attributes to apply to this. And this is going to apply the background color to those little pills, uh, those, those things right here. So how we're getting these colors is right here under the attributes. This is using the Microsoft or the, the SharePoint color uh, schema, the, the, the CSS styles that we could leverage to automatically apply specific SharePoint colors to our HTML elements. So here's where you're seeing white or the uh, blue magenta, the shared red, the teal colors, all those are coming from right here. And it's all going to depend on what the status is of that field or what the, the value is of that field. So essentially, what the approval status is of our item that will determine what color of the background we are using. And that makes sense because that's how what's what we're seeing here. So now you know how we're getting the different colors all in, in here dependent on the value. It's all happening really with this one line. Now inside this one div where all we're really doing is setting the background color, we're going to have a couple of items. One is going to be another div. And this is going to be the icon that we're using. So the uh, the X in the case of the rejected status, this is going to put that on the page or whatever other icon that is, depending on that uh, uh, approval status. So we're going to be, you know, some basic styling here with some padding, the border radius. So we a 50 percent border radius means we have a circle, uh, which is if you look, there's our circle. All these icons are in a circle. So that's how we get that shape on there. Then we'll pass in the, the attributes with an icon name. This is what's getting the icon inside that circle. Really similarly to how we're doing the background colors up here, we are setting uh, the icon name equal to whatever the Fluent UI icon is. Uh, name is that we want to display. So for we see a calculator subtract here. Uh, there it is. It's for not submitted. We see the little minus symbol there. We also see ones for the forward arrow for the cancel arrow and the accept uh, to make to capture all four of these different statuses. So that's how we're getting those icons. Then we're using the class uh, attribute so that we can set the background color on those icons. So it's not the same as the uh, the green, red and the purple that we, we see here. So that's how we have that white background there. And then afterwards, we are setting the approval status value. You'll see text content, which sets the value of this new this other div that we're creating and that's going to be set to the approval status column and that's how we have in this case requested rejected approved not submitted that text right there next to our icon is coming from this particular div and then what we're going to be creating after that which will sit below our icon and text if you look back here you'll see approval details and then the little um new tab or whatever, new window icon uh, that, that's over here, that's going to be coming from this last section here where we're creating a div using a flex layout like before. We have a custom row action. This is a special attribute that lets you do a few new things. I believe I showed not too long ago a, a method to embed, uh, embed YouTube videos. Uh, using custom row action, but we're doing the open approval dialog action, uh, which which is what is bringing up that progress chart, that progress tracker that we had. Inside there, we're adding just basic text, static text, approval details, and then we have our, the icon that we were using here, open a new window. So that's where that little weird icon uh, here is uh, is coming from. And that's really it. It's it's really this. This is uh, it's not ultra, ultra basic, but it's still fairly simple. And it does show a lot of different techniques uh, that you could use in JSON formatting, like the custom row action, like the icons, a lot of cool stuff in here. I think this is a great uh, sample and a really good, uh, easy way 
to make this approval status pop out a lot more and draw your eyes as you know, compared to what the uh, the the conditional formatting the way that normally looks in SharePoint, which is it's OK, but this is better. Now, if you like these JSON formatting samples to learn more all the time and try out new things in your environment, then you're going to want to click into this playlist where I've got all my JSON samples and you can just go one at a time checking out all the powerful things that you could do with JSON formatting. And again, if you're trying to learn more about this, there's a link in the description to my online course. But other than that, I'll see you on the next one.